Oh, so much for that six game winning streak. So much for starting 2 0 in the division as the Cowboys fall to an underman Redskins team led by a third string quarterback. Eddie Romo was sorely missed as the Cowboys fall in back to back games. Well, the struggle is real, not just for me to lock down a date, but for the Cowboys to win without Tony Romo. Just what is it about the process that has this franchise firing on all cylinders? And what's gotten into DeMarco Murray? This guy has now done something that nobody else has in NFL history. That rotation that's starting to get pressure on the quarterback. Carson Palmer, even though he's old and crusty, he's not really that mobile. But uh, Henry Melton, he puts uh, Carson Palmer down on the ground twice. It was only one loss, but how are the Cowboys feeling after what could be a season-altering defeat? Hey, let's get inside this guy's brain. It's Brian Broaddus here for the AT&T Key Matchup. Monday Night Football. Big time lights, big time players, and the Redskins have one in, in Deshaun Jackson. Yeah, and every, I know Des should have had that that catch there, Mickey. But are you surprised that you're three and a half yards away, and then you've got the, the, this uh, guy named Demarco Murray, uh, who, who's pounding the rock yet again? Well, well, this looks like it could be a possible playoff preview: Cowboys versus Cardinals. Welcome back here to Cowboys Weekend. Jerry Jones said that Tony Romo is going to be on the flight to London. Does this loss against the Cardinals now complicate the decision to get him back on the field? Tim Garrett's process talk is boring, but it's getting results. Six straight wins for the first time as a head coach. Is this game a must win to settle everything down and regain that confidence just to get back in the win column so the sky's not falling, you know, after just one loss? After the Cowboys lost to the Cardinals, I had a chance to catch up with one of the few bright spots of the defense and linebacker Anthony. Well, Anthony, a, a tough loss for you guys today, but uh, you had an outstanding game, led the team with eight tackles. DeMarco only gets 19 carries with a Brandon Whedon at quarterback. You would think they need to ride him, and especially right now, no matter who starts at quarterback, they have to ride this horse in DeMarco Murray. The Cowboys drop another, and things didn't look that great from the quarterback spot. We're back here on Cowboys Insider, presented by Baylor Scott and White Health. I am Chase Williams, and things looking good for us now. The Mickey Spagnola and Rick Goslin of the Dallas Morning News are joining us. Uh, guys, Brandon Whedon, he looked pretty good in his snapshot against the Redskins on Monday, but he looked brutal, Rick, here against the Cardinals. Will he or won't he? He's the most polarizing figure in sports these days. Tony Romo out last week with back injury, what seems like uh, number 74, Lindsay. It was their first loss in 51 days, and it stung. But the Cowboys, along with Tony Romo, may be feeling this one for a long time to come. And the great Nate Newton, Jacksonville, they're terrible. 30th on offense, 26th in defense, turnover ratio minus nine. But are they this bad? Everyone's obviously talking about the offense. They struggle mightily, but the defense, they did Mickey some good enough things to win this ball game. Yeah. And it starts with Des Bryant. This guy wants a big time contract. Over the last two weeks, 17 targets, just five catches, 45 yards, much of it in garbage time. He has to play better. Uh, Brandon Whedon struggled mightily, proving just how valuable Tony Romo is. The boys now get on a plane headed for London, but will number nine be on that flight? Because there's this thing with chickens and bunnies that when I go to a petting zoo, here we go. I can't, I'm so worried about hurting them. I'm worried about Tony Romo getting on that flight to London. I'm worried about how he's going to handle that. This guy is older and he's not recuperating as quickly as a 22 year old Bryce Petty. And just in case uh, there are any takers on that date, my Twitter handle is at Chase P. Williams. Uh, but the date that we're all actually looking forward to is for Tony to get healthy and back on the field, which could be today.